Scientists warn you that the Yellowstone supervolcano is growing. Yellowstone is the largest place where it comes in Yellowstone National Park. Researchers say this chaotic swarm was discovered moving along a young, rugged fault line deep beneath the Yellowstone caldera. This cluster of seismic activity is likely caused by hot, mineral-rich water forcing its way through cracks in the rock. Yellowstone is one of the world's largest active volcanoes, and if it erupts, it could cover up to two-thirds of the U.S. in ash. The entire state could become uninhabitable as toxic air sweeps through, canceling thousands of flights and forcing millions from their homes. After the eruption empties a huge magma chamber, the land left behind collapses into the concave space, forming the caldera. When scientists want to search for seismic activity around the caldera, they typically have to manually examine vast amounts of data. However, using machine learning techniques, Dr. Lee and his co-authors were able to search through seismic recordings dating back years to find previously undetected tremors. Dr. Bing Lee, an earthquake mechanic at Western University, said, If we had to do it the old-fashioned way, where someone manually went through all this data looking for earthquakes, you wouldn't be able to do it. The scalability is inadequate. This revealed that tens of thousands of earthquake swarms had been missed by previous manual inspections. Earthquake swarms don't follow the typical pattern of shaking and aftershocks, where one large event is followed by a number of smaller tremors. Instead, earthquake swarms occur as clusters of small earthquakes that spread rapidly and shift over a small area in a short period of time. In some cases, this can be caused by molten magma moving upward through the mantle and crust, building up pressure that can signal an impending eruption. However, volcanologists say this is likely not the case at the Yellowstone caldera. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory steamboat erupts, earthquakes recorded. In addition to itself, the area around Steamboat was also affected. There was a pulsing mud puddle, and there were several places where hot, muddy water was gushing out, she said. Although there is no risk of volcanic activity following the geyser, the USGS and park staff continue to monitor the site. Monitoring systems, such as thermometers located at the Steamboat outlet, notified them that the geyser was erupting. The hope is that studying the data in more detail may someday yield clues that help scientists predict eruptions, something that is not. According to Vicki Rogula, a public affairs assistant at Yellowstone National Park, the surrounding area remains closed for the winter. If there are visitors in the area, the park will close the area for safety. 